Hello, I'm David Attenborough and I'm here to record an update of my memoir called Life on Air. A lot has happened since uh, that first edition was published and so I've written extra chapters for a new edition in which I describe all kinds of things like how we went about uh, filming insects and frogs and reptiles and snakes and lizards. I hope you'll enjoy listening to it. We were there in August. The bears at low tide had been digging up clams, showing remarkable dexterity and delicacy in extracting the flecks from the protective shells. But now salmon were beginning to swarm into the rivers from the sea and were making their way up the headwaters to where they would spawn. As we watched, a female bear, whom Jeff said he knew, stopped digging in the sand and lumbered away from us towards one of the shallow streams that snaked across the wide gravel flats. We hurried back towards the shore, waded across the stream up which the fish were swimming, and returned towards the sea so that we could get a front view of the bear across the stream as it approached. Gavin was enthusiastic. The bear, walking straight towards us, made a very impressive sight. Hugh stood me close to the bank and asked me to start my piece about seasonal diets. To do so, I had to look at the camera, and that meant I had to turn my back to the approaching bear. I looked earnestly at the camera. Bears have a menu that changes with the season, I said, and top of the menu right now is salmon. I turned round, anxious to see where the bear had got to. She was within a few yards of me and on the other side of the stream. As I spoke the word salmon, she reared into the air, plunged head first into the water, and lifted her head with water dripping from her shaggy fur and a four-foot-long salmon flapping in her jaws, and she lumbered off.